Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play Distant Worlds. We left off last time going over these buttons. And we're going to dive into the research options now. So there are three types of research. And if you click on the research stations, you can see your research capacity and your actual output. This will affect some of our stuff coming up in a future episode probably. Then we have weapons, energy and construction, high tech and industrial. So what do we want to do first? And you have caps based on each tech tree. So I don't think if you ignore one tech tree it's going to go all into the other ones. At least that's how I believe it works. We don't need transportation systems as much as we need storage systems. Another thing that would be good to have is these two, but probably not highest priority. Mm. Oh, and the things with the little arrows on them does not require you to replace or upgrade your ships because they actually upgrade the existing components and the things like this that just have a component they require you to build new ships to get that item into them so here we get new storage stuff and here it gets upgraded then we get more new storage stuff gets upgraded again Actually, they split off and they they um, each have new types. Then each of those get upgraded and then we get some kind of wonder at the very end. But things like this just continually gets upgraded. You never have to replace them. Same for these. That is something that is a bit important. Okay. Yeah, storage systems, we can do that one later, maybe. Then we'll hit up medical and entertainment systems. Then that will put us to colonization, I think. This one is very expensive. See, these are our 120 and this is 960, so we're going to do this kind of low-hanging fruit first. This might be good too for saving on ship parts. Uh, we'll go into the energy thing. Shields are good, but we don't want them first off. We want to... Mm, energy. This will make our constructors build faster. These would be better though, I think. Then we will take probably new engines. Then we'll go back here to the upgrade construction. Probably going to go into two of those. And then shields might be good at that point. We want to get this early, and this early because they're new components, and then we can upgrade it later. This is running a bit slow, or something weird is going on. Okay, I think that's it for that string, or tab. Now then, weapons, they are a whole bunch of different types. From beam weapons, energy weapons, gravity weapons, EMP weapons, area weapons, energy torpedo weapons, fighters, uh, some shipboarding stuff, missiles, including bombardment weapons, railguns, and then some armor and ground attack and various mixed stuff. Ground attack, ground defense, stuff goes down there. 
And each of these weapons have kind of their own characteristics. Short range, high fire rate, lots of damage. Obviously EMP is EMP. These ignore shields and armor, but have short range. Area weapons, obviously area effect. The energy torpedo weapons is what I usually start out with. Not sure if we're going to do that right off the bat though. We probably will want to do something else before we go there. Fighters are nice, including all their upgrades. Fighters, bombers, quite good at controlling an area. The ship boarding, we need that for the options that we set last time in the how to capture ships. Missile weapons, really long range, expensive, low fire rate, can be shot down by point defense, and I do not think that torpedoes can. They are less effective against armor as well. Projectile weapons, um, I think they, yeah, they ignore shields. but kind of short range. Then we have armor, armored ground assault. If we wanted to attack any planet soon, that is something we want to get. Uh, improved assault tactics, improved defense tactics, and improved logistics. That's something we want to pick up a bit soon due to our maintenance cost. Then we'll pick up energy torpedoes and fighters. Actually, let's Drop that a bit lower in the queue. And that'll probably be... We'll go up there. Click those. I think that'll be what we're going to go for. We might get armor at some point, but I don't think we're going to need that yet. We can probably steal the technology from somebody. So that is everything we want to take right now. And where did my planet go? Now then, as for building stuff, I'm going to start out here by building a construction ship. And we can unpause the game now. Let it be running. Now that we're actually doing something. Let's take a look around our system. We're also... We will queue up a large spaceport. That's going to take a while to build. So we have some volcanic, two or three ocean planets, continental planets that we can settle like right off. That's pretty good. Usually I don't have that many. Some, what's that, asteroid field? Some space slugs. Oh, wonderful. Gas giants. Now this is something that I made a mistake with or cost me my first game. If we look at the research, go to the energy tree. The reactors down there, the third line, you can see fuel type. And 4.11 units per 1000 energy units. So everything, or every ship that uses a reactor, every ship or station that uses a reactor, needs a constant supply of fuel. And the fuel comes from gas giants. There are two main types, that Carson and then hydrogen for fusion type engines. Also, we can speed up the game time a little bit. And we get that right off the bat. As that's going to... There's not much that happens right at the beginning in pre-warp. We have to build a few things before we can get very far. We don't even have any scouts yet. We will queue up building something there. We get a bonus for building our first constructor. It doesn't have very much range because it doesn't have a whole lot of fuel. It doesn't have a lot of cargo space. It'll need to be upgraded pretty quickly 
Like right after we research something. Is there anything that we can tell right off the bat? So there's a scenery bonus here. A couple of planets. Our moons. Gas giants. We need to figure out which gas giant has our stuff. Our fuel type. Which will be... Something we can do after we get... This built. I'm hoping that this has enough cargo space to actually build the station it's building. It may not. It's taking its sweet time there. What I could do is if I click on this again I can initiate a crash program and that will triple the research speed at a significant cost. But we have a fair amount of money right now. So did we get a new leader? Didn't we fire this guy? Pretty sure I fired him. We'll see what happens with that. Maybe it didn't go through. Yeah, there we go. Get a new leader. Okay, we don't know what kind of guy he is. Let's make sure that our empire settings are correct. Since that didn't go through, maybe something else didn't. Yeah, let's load. There we go. Apply policy. Must have loaded the wrong save or something. So our construction is stalled because we don't have the following resources. Part of that is going to be because this guy couldn't carry as many of them in his cargo hold to bring them there. And we don't have any ships that can bring it there until this gets built. We don't have any transports. Our leader acquired the generous trait, and we built our starship thing, our starport. So let's see our leader. Are you leader? So poor speaker, courageous, and generous. Well, that's better than what we had before. The diplomacy thing is not great, but he'll be replaced before we run into somebody probably. Here, we can go to our build orders and then queue up a couple of construction our explorer ships build those very very quickly completed that now we're researching torpedoes it looks like we might actually want to cancel these let's see I don't think I can though I have to upgrade them. That's fine. It doesn't take long to upgrade those types of ships. And transports are built automatically by civilians. So we don't need to worry about that manually. These are both finished. They're automated. I'm going to unautomate that. I'll leave one of them automated. And we'll see what's here. Because they're going to scout it out. Explore moon. Okay. Then I want this guy to come check out these gas giants. Hmm, should I wait for that? Actually, it looks like it's finished, isn't it? Yes. So why don't you go upgrade? Click there. You also go upgrade. And already we have minor ships and cargo ships wandering around. We've researched that. Going into crash again. Well, that's kind of amazing. Construction is messed up. 
we're going to... Uh, we may have to manually do something with that. Now then, explore the planet. Key the next mission to explore this planet. Looks like there's something here. Oops. The queue again. We have more research just pouring through. Queue next mission, explore this. Queue next mission, explore that. Wait. I messed up there, didn't I? We have a lone trader. Not sure if I set this right. Now then, let's lower this for a second, because a lot of stuff is happening. We have this guy who's going to come and trade with our guy over here, I hope, if he has the right stuff. Next thing, we're going to wait probably until we get... Starfighters, and that might be all we need before we can upgrade our one station. We'll want entertainment systems too. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Then this can be upgraded once that gets finished. Once we get the new engines, we'll upgrade our constructors as well. Where'd that other guy go? You are not in the latest model? Okay. There's already been another model. They're kind of slow. Engineers completed it. So now they're upgrading logistics. Now to get the warp technology, we need to explore a planet with these little three dots things. It's going to be one of them. It's going to allow us to unlock the tech. And we can do a lot with that once that gets done. It'll greatly improve our exploration, not just of our system, but of the surrounding areas, of course. If we zoom out, we can get an idea of the area we're in. So, a few planets around here. Need to do that. Let's just go there. There we go. Is he still having trouble? No, so he bought some stuff from that merchant, and now he's building. Research that. Okay, what is here? Crossing and hydrogen, so this will be our fuel planet. Or at least one of them. You probably need to go upgrade soon. I'm wondering if I send you straight there now, if he'll be ready to upgrade by the time that gets there. Okay, save screen means that it's been 20 minutes. So, like if you like, subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.